Hey rail fans. For those of you out there who are modeling uh, railroads prior to the 1950s and 40s, I've got a simple tip for you to help you with your research. So if you're modeling prior to the 1950s when color photography became uh, much more prevalent, sometimes it's hard to come up with color photographs of whatever you're modeling. Not only the trains, but also the train stations, the buildings, the cars, the uh, people's clothes, the colors of the streets, etc. Now certainly there are colorized movies and things of the 1930s, 40s, 50s now, but those have been colorized in modern day. You can actually go back and find uh, color photographs from the period, but they weren't actually color photographs. They were black and white photographs that then were colorized. And one common place to find these is on postcards. And so postcards, uh, uh, sort of conveniently enough, are very collectible. And you can go on to uh, your favorite online auction site, like I did, and find uh, color, or probably find colorized photos of whatever uh, area you're modeling. So if you're modeling, say, the joint line in uh, the 1930s or 20s or whatever, you know, I could find color photographs of what Union Station and uh, the Pueblo Station would look like or the Santa Fe Station in Colorado Springs that were actually colorized um, back in that era. And so these aren't uh, modern color interpretations of what we think things would look like. These were actually colored back then. And so it's really neat because you start with a black and white photo so you have pretty accurate uh, information as to what was there, although I certainly in my little bit of research here I found some that um, really looked like something was hand drawn in there like a vehicle or something because the scale just looks a little off or the the uh, orientation or, or something looks a little off. But for the most part it seems like they're black and white photographs that then are hand colored back in that era and so it gives you a great representation as to what color various things should be. And in addition to the joint lines, some of them I looked up is there's some great um, Hagerstown or uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, uh, that I was doing for another project that I found that are just really neat uh, representations of what that era or area looked like, and the different stations and things that were were there. And so it's really neat. So go online, check these things out if you're modeling that era, and you can get uh, essentially color photographs for that era to help you with your modeling. So hopefully this tip helps you out. As always, guys, keep running your trains, keep enjoying them, and we'll catch you at the next update.